If you do the math, about 2,000 people in the United States start their first dose of Adderall every single day. October is ADHD Awareness Month, so this is a great time to talk about my experience with Adderall. Last Saturday, I took my first dose in two decades. In this video, I'll go through an hour-by-hour -hour breakdown of my first dose of Adderall as an adult, what I experienced, what it was like, how it wrapped up for me, and give you some reflections on being on the medication for about a week or so. I was diagnosed with ADHD as a kid. I was bouncing off the walls, very much a disruption in the classroom. I was on medication for two years. I barely remember that time. I was on it for a while and then I stopped. But in the last two decades, I continue to have the symptoms of ADHD, fidgeting, distraction, forgetfulness, being disorganized, having a million thoughts all going at the same time. After years of hemming and hawing, I finally went to see a psychiatrist and I was re-diagnosed, I guess, with ADHD and I wanted to try therapeutic treatment again. Lo and behold, I was given a prescription for Adderall, the most common medication used to treat ADHD symptoms. In case it is not clear, you should definitely not start taking Adderall or any other kind of stimulant medication without first consulting your doctor, a psychiatrist, or a medical professional. What is up everyone? Today is a big day for me. It is Saturday, October 8th, a little after 2 p.m. and I'm going to be taking my first dose of Adderall. This is a big step for me on my ADHD journey. Here it is. It's the sort of fast acting release. The pills are really small. They're super tiny. You can see that. I already actually took it because I recorded an earlier version of this video, but I didn't have the mic on. So I'm doing that for effect for you guys. I'll do one of these. And I'm excited to see how this makes me feel. I already did a little bit of a strength training workout, a couple different movements, and then did a 15 minute bike ride. So met my friend Adam for brunch. So I'm already feeling like pretty good. This is normally when in the afternoon I might get a little work done. And I just Googled how long does it take for Adderall to hit you was the autocomplete. And it says between 20 and 60 minutes. So we'll see how that goes. It is now an hour since I took the first dose of Adderall. And I started noticing it about 30 minutes in and it was, I was describing it to my wife. Someone had put like a compression shirt on my brain. So like a light compressing, I might've said the word vice, but that was only for a little while between the 30 minutes when it first started and now about an hour in, that compressionness has faded. It reduces a certain amount of the itchiness. I don't know that you might feel like, oh, I gotta read this, I gotta do that. Like you can look at something and then just keep looking at it. But I was still doing creative work and things that I enjoy. So that still feels like a form of flow to me rather than necessarily, let's be honest, a part of what I'm hoping is that I can do things that I find boring and tedious and administrative and like be okay with that. So I was gonna do some, write some bullet points, but I'm actually gonna try and do some spreadsheet formatting, something I was wanting to do, but then avoiding doing and see if I actually stick through that because that'll be really fascinating. And also like I did speak to my wife for a little bit, so probably it's like good to take breaks and move around and not just sit in one place. I don't know, that's just my thought. We are two hours into the first dose, five milligrams. And man, how long are these supposed to last? Ouch. Lost all my Chrome tabs, that was weird. Long half-life of Adderall. The overall half-life of Adderall ranges from nine to 14 hours. So if you take it at one o'clock, nine hours later, you have half of it in your system. So one o'clock, or I guess two o'clock would be 11 o'clock. That seems pretty intense, but there's two parts of it. There's dextroamphetamine and then there's levoamphetamine. So dextro is shorter and then levo is longer. Does it build up in your system? Depends on how long it takes or clear it out of your system. Immediate release reaches maximum levels in the bloodstream within three hours of taking it. So I'm not even at three hours, I'm still at two hours. With effects that last between four to six hours, and then extended release reaches maximum blood levels within seven hours, lasting eight to 12 hours. Interesting. So I'm still in the window of like even reaching maximum potency. It's a little bit more, 
I don't know, normal feeling now. I definitely did a spreadsheet thing that I was putting off or wanted to do earlier, but then never got to. It is a boring task, so it wasn't that hard to get through it. Let's see, does it make writing easier or harder? I don't know, I was putting some bullet points together. I w it wasn't like I was completely changing how I felt. Sometimes I had to look for something, I remembered something, I couldn't find it, putting it down. But this time I'm gonna do like more of a heavier writing effort and I'm gonna see if I can really make a ton of progress in an hour of writing. The other two sessions have also been in these like flow clubs. So I've been in flow clubs where I have people who are also working and we like check in at the top of the hour. But now I'm gonna do it with no flow club. So let's see if that actually was also helping. And then the fact that I have, I guess more of it active in my bloodstream or whatever. See if it'll make a difference. Okay, catch you on the other side of this. I passed hour three. And I gotta say, this has actually been really great. I just finished an hour and 10 minute writing session where I was like really in the zone. I did a screen recording so you could see my screen. And yes, partly I was like cognizant of the fact that you could see what I was recording on my screen. Maybe that's the big strategy is actually to screen record all the time. That's ridiculous. But I knew I was making this video, so I did the screen recording. And you can see I'm really dialed in. I'm working on this essay. I had the bullet points. Usually when I'm working on bullet points like this, I like get tired of writing for a while. Then I look at something else. Then I come back and write on it again. But this time I was able to just crank through it and just work on section by section. And, and my, my wife came in and talked to me for a little bit in each part and I paused during that time. But that was like pretty brief. And then I was able to get back in the zone pretty quickly. Honestly, that's pretty cool. Sometimes it takes me a lot longer to write. And yes, sometimes I get in the flow too. This is the thing, I can't tell if this is exactly the medication or if it's just I'm feeling good today, working out, whatever. I don't think it's just that. I do think that the Adderall is having an effect on my mental state. And do I feel less creative? No, not really. Like what I think I don't feel is the itch to go do some random other thing. Like often I feel this itch like, and I did have a little moment where I was like, oh, I should respond to this email and start doing this thing. And I was like, I don't have to do that. I can do that after I finish like a big chunk of this writing, which I then did and it was fine. So anyway, pretty cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I might take a little bit of a break. I think one of the dangers is probably to just try to work. Just, oh great, now I can work. So I'm just gonna plow through the work. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, see my wife off to her event and then maybe come back and do a little bit more. It's about four hours later and I just spent some time hanging out with my wife. She was going off to an event. So I wanted to see if I could feel social and normal and just like chill and talk and whatever. And yeah, I felt totally normal and natural. It didn't feel strange at all. We had a good time. We laughed. I was taking some photos of her and it didn't feel any different. Like I don't feel like I'm a different person all of a sudden because I have this medication in my system. Again, this is just day one, but it's good to get these raw reflections out there just so that I, I feel it. I do notice like my stomach rumbling, but I don't feel the visceral sense of appetite that I would otherwise. Like I haven't felt a need to snack, which I think snacking is both like a hunger thing, but also like a boredom thing. So in a lot of ways, that's also really nice. Although it's something to be aware of. I ate at like noon. so. I probably should eat some. I guess the stomach hurting is like my body's way of telling me like I, I should go and eat something. That is interesting. And you can see it's like a lot darker now. I had to turn on some lights. Yeah, that's what I got right now for you. All right, last update for today. It is about five and a half hours after I first took the Adderall. I was going to eat and then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do a little bit more work while I still have this going on. And then I'm gonna eat because I'm not planning to take another one tonight, it's too late. I don't wanna be up late. I still notice that like the hunger has transmuted from being like a strong urge to eat to a little thing in your stomach that you can ignore, which I can understand could be dangerous. So I am gonna go eat after this. But I spent that last bit of time creating a diagram, an image for my piece. Sometimes I would get into this and I would like do a little bit of work and then I wouldn't be happy with my results and then I'd exit. But I was able to push through and turn the diagram, create the diagram that I wanted to create for the article. So I'm actually pretty happy with what it looks like now. And yeah, what else? I, I'm going to go play some video games. I feel like I was super productive today, which is great. Like, 
off and I end the day and I feel like I haven't done enough and I'm not happy with how much I've done and I want to keep working and then I feel bad, but I actually feel pretty good. Now, again, this is my first day. Maybe it will wear off. Maybe I will find some uncontrolled side effects. Maybe I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll be unable to sleep. So I will do a full recap of this and explanation later, but this will be my last kind of check-in for today. But honestly, outside of that kind of a little bit uncomfortable feeling at the very beginning of the day, it wasn't bad. It helped me get in the zone, helped me stay in the zone. It just allowed me to um, do the things that I know how to do and continue onward instead of thinking of something else, getting curious about something else, and then like investigating that thing just allowed me to plug away at the specific thing that I was already doing. So it's pretty helpful. I'm happy with it. I, like I call today a big win, honestly. Yeah. All right, it's late, but I didn't want to forget. So I want to record one last video. It is now 1.35. So it's been almost 12 hours since I took Adderall. And as you remember, half-life of Adderall between 9 and 12 hours. So technically, somewhere between half and maybe a little bit less than half left in my system, which is a lot. But uh, I wanted to note two things. One was I did feel, I did get unusually emotional. One of the side effects that they've talked about is like mood swings. And I watch some of this overwatch this new i like watching content about video games and probably do more of that than play because i just don't have a lot of time to get into games and i was watching the character trailer for the new overwatch character oh god key Kiriko. kiriko yeah it's you know overwatch and blizzard they do a really good job but I got pretty teary-eyed, not just teary-eyed, I like straight up leaked a couple tears watching that. And then I was like, is that just because it's like a new one and it's an Asian character and maybe I relate to this. Then I watched the Junker Cream one. That wasn't meant to be emotional, so I didn't feel super emotional about that one. It was good. And then I watched the Reinhardt one again, which of course, classic trailer, very moving. A tale of an arrogant young man learning his lesson at what cost and cried then too. Maybe there was a sense that I was feeling more emotions, which honestly, I wouldn't say is so terrible. I like welcome that because like maybe it feels like it opens up a sort of emotional bandwidth or emotional spectrum. Could be, maybe, I don't know. But then afterwards, around 10 o'clock, when my wife came home, I was starting to come off of it, and I just felt a sense of, it's a little bit tired, a little bit more like fuzzy, like you were in this sort of more hyper-focused state, and you're consuming a lot of energy to do that, and then now you're coming down from that. And the way you feel when you're really tired late at night, and your brain isn't working much anymore. So having been on Adderall for about a week, now, I wanted to share some additional thoughts. I feel like that very first dose, it's really hard to say if it was placebo, it was a great day, I had already worked out, I was working on things I was personally really interested in, but yes, I was able to really focus. Working in my day-to-day -day job as a product manager at a big tech company, I was still feeling pretty distracted. I felt like I had to multitask and switch between things and yeah, I still scrolled on my phone. I was still sometimes struggling to focus. The five milligram is probably the right dose for me. The two times that I've tried to actually do the process, which is two five milligram doses, one in the morning and one in maybe noon, like I'm currently on the tail end of that second one. And honestly, it's too much. I'm feeling still like there's something coursing through my body and it I don't know, it just doesn't feel natural. I could see how this would be helpful if I was feeling really lethargic and you know, maybe I had to do my taxes and I was just super, ugh, I don't wanna do that. I could see how that could make a difference. But many of the other days I took one dose and I think that was probably better for me. I went and watched some other people talking about their experience taking Adderall and I don't know if it's actually the same one that I'm experiencing. I feel like my body's buzzing. Other people talked about calming down and I was like, you know what? I'm not feeling calm. Yeah, I mean, I might spend the next week and see maybe I won't take it some days. Maybe I'll take it just one dose other days and see how it goes. But I could also be open to trying some 
non-stimulant medication and see how that works. I think that this video really does show what is possible with Adderall and certainly on a good day in a good environment and working on something that I'm really just passionate about with a lot of time and just a clear schedule, what you can get done. So anyway, I'll keep you all updated on my ADHD journey as it progresses. In the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, and do work that matters. Peace.